Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to grow I go. Today is the last day of the year. It is December 31st of 2023. So obviously this is, you know, the last video of the year. Get that greenhouse open. Anyway, you know, the wonderful world of slow progress that we've got done in here. Just sealing more stuff up, just cleaning things out, getting rid of the gravel in here, putting it in the chicken coop to not have so much damn mud over there. Um, fish are doing fine. I forgot to put their other cover back on so we can help keep the temperatures up better. There we go. Plants are coming up. Kohlrabi's looking healthy. Strawberries are trying to extend their reach. And is that a carrot? I don't know, might be a carrot. The lavender, looking a little sad there. Other sprouts are coming up. The eggplant's been getting trimmed back. We'll see if it survives. I'm not doing anything fancy there. In here, and here, pepper plants covered, still holding, still looking green. We'll see what January, February brings us for cold temperatures, whether or not they're gonna make it through the year or not. Transplanted some green onions from the kitchen. Those are already breaking through and coming up, so we'll get some new growth. Probably keep those for a couple years. Gotta get this fig tree moved. Gotta get that moved. Um, also this year is the year of intentional failures. So what I've done and what I've had, well, what I had to do last year was I had all of my three solar panels attached to a single charge controller. And this led to an issue because these cheap charge controllers don't like it when your voltage gets too low on your battery, so they fail to pick back up. So I moved a single solar panel to the Victron because these are much higher quality controllers. And this will pick up even when the voltage is just too low and start to do a trickle charge. And what that does is as soon as that brings everything back online, this comes back online so I can get all three panels working as they need to work, which has been fantastic. So that's kept things running a lot better. You can hear the pumps running because all the drains, all the beds are flooding and draining. And we will go for a few hours at a time without the pumps running just because overnight voltages get too low. But the new system does work a lot better in terms of providing a better fail safe for things. So a few more changes to still come along. We are getting, I've got some, what, pond liner coming and I've got some liquid rubber. I'm gonna set up a couple exploratory beds, filters, things like that. I'm gonna build some things out of wood and coat them because it's a lot cheaper than buying containers made with fiberglass or anything else that's square and rectangle and rigid. Um, it's gonna, it should just be a lot cheaper and we'll see how that turns out. So that's something we got going on. So this is the end of the year. It's been a good year. Um, Obviously I need to make things more productive in here. That is the long-term goal, but the near term, the now is just experiment and see what comes, see what goes. You see, I've got all that you know, green garlic back there. I got to pull that out of there. You know, we did get an eggplant. That was great, but we got to, you know, we can improve growing, growing for that. It would be nice to get beds outside of the greenhouse in full sun um, in, or even make a way to open this up in the summer so that we can have more air, better cooling, all that fun stuff. So let's see what 2024, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> 2024, let's see what it brings. Prosperity, happiness, more food, who knows? We'll see. Have a great new year, everybody, and uh, we'll talk to you next month.